Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski, your crypto queen. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Please know that this is not financial advice. I'm only here to entertain you and to remind you to only buy on red candles. And it looks like Tiffany Fong got her hands on some more leaked audio from an internal Celsius meeting to find out, you know, what exactly is it they're going to do to make creditors whole here? And it's looking like they might go with a plan that Simon Dixon had actually suggested way from the beginning, way before they entered into bankruptcy. So all of that could have been avoided had they just gone with the Simon Dixon plan. But you know, Alex Mashinsky, he is not a fan of Simon Dixon, you know, definitely does not like him treading in his territory because, you know... I, he might have a Napoleon complex. We don't know, but I'm just thinking. So this is the plan that they've come up with. So let's get to this article. If you are a Celsius creditor, this is going to be very interesting to you. I don't know how great this is because you know what? It's basically them coming up with IOU tokens. But who's going to want these IOU tokens I, I just don't know. So let's get to the article. Celsius Network might be planning to turn its debt into crypto IOU tokens. In a leaked audio file, Nuke Goldstein, the firm's co-founder and chief technology officer, detailed a potential plan to issue wrapped tokens representing the debt to customers. Bankrupt crypto lender Celsius Network appears to be considering a plan to turn its debt into a crypto IOU token. Celsius filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in July, a month after halting withdrawals because of a liquidity crisis it blamed on extreme market conditions. Subsequent bankruptcy proceedings in the Southern District of New York have revealed the depths of Celsius financial problems or troubles. The lender owes 500,000 creditors nearly $5 billion. Even if Celsius sold all of its assets, including its mysterious half-finished mining subsidiary, Celsius Mining, that Celsius executives and bankruptcy lawyers have pinned their hopes on to get out of debt, it would still be left with a $1.2 billion hole in its balance sheet. That's a big hole. Instead, a leaked audio recording of an internal Celsius meeting shared by Celsius customer and YouTuber Tiffany Fong indicates that Celsius is considering an alternative method for repaying customers wrapping the Bitcoin, Ether, and USDC it owes to customers into a token that a Celsius co-founder and chief technology officer, Nuke Goldstein, explains represents the ratio between how much we really owe and how much we really have. Customers could then either redeem the wrapped IOU tokens, though a timeline for these redemptions remains unclear, trade them on the open market, or hold them to speculate on Celsius's potential recovery in the long term. In another leak call, Shared by Fong, Celsius executives told employees at an all-hands meeting on September the 8th that Celsius's C CEO, Alex Mashinsky, had already shared the plan to issue the IOU tokens with the Unsecured Creditors Committee, which reacted with positive feedback. This is really how we resolve this, how we get out, or in Blonstein, Celsius chief compliance officer, told employees at the meeting, what we do in this pivotal moment can be through can be through unprecedented, really innovative solutions, and this is one of them. The plan, if accepted by the Unsecured Creditors Committee, however, wouldn't exactly be unprecedented. Liquidity-strapped Chinese mining pool operator Poolin suspended withdrawals from its wallet service earlier this month. A week later, it announced that it would issue IOU tokens to affected customers representing a one-to-one -one ratio of user balances across six cryptocurrencies. The plan also bears some resemblance to Bitfinex's recovery plan plan following a hack that drained 120,000 bitcoins from the exchange's reserves in mid-2016. The exchange issued debt tokens to customers affected by the hack, which were then traded on the open market, often for much less than a dollar face value. By April 2017, Bitfinex had bought back all of the remaining debt tokens. So that's their plan. And as you can see, it is very similar to the plan that Simon Dixon had put together for Bitfinex. So if you are somebody that's, um, uh, uh, 
an unsecured creditor, are you happy with this? Because just think about it. They're wrapping all of these assets together. I think that's a bad idea. And who wants anything to do with a token that has anything to do with Celsius at this point, especially if Alex Mashinsky is still involved? Because people feel like any of the leadership that continues to hold their role over at Celsius Network that got them into this situation, they're not happy with them. They want them gone. They want a nice fresh start. They feel like there needs to be, a, a, you know, a, a switch in leadership, and maybe that would bring bring about a little optimism with the creditors because they're just not happy with what happened with Alex Mashinsky, especially due to his lack of transparency. Don't forget, he was having an AMA every single week telling people everything's fine here at Celsius. If you hear anything negative, it's just FUD. We're liquid. We're fine. Don't worry. We're always going to have your back. We have you covered. This is what Celsius is about. He said that right up to the day before they halted withdrawals. So people really want to see Alex Mashinsky gone. And people are just not confident in this IOU token because they're thinking, who's going to, even if we wanted to get rid of that token, who's going to want to buy it? Can you imagine you deposited Bitcoin over on Celsius Network and what they want to give you in return for your Bitcoin is these potentially worthless IOU tokens? I'm not saying that the tokens are worthless. But there's the potential that, you know what, they could be. What if nobody wants to buy them on the open market? There needs to be a demand for anything to hold any value. So if you're a holder, down in the comment section below, let me know what you think of this potential IOU token. Is this something that you could be down with? Because what's at least there is a plan, at least they're thinking of things, brainstorming things, coming up with something, because you don't want to go from chapter 11 to chapter 7. That's where they just liquidate and sell whatever they have left there as far as assets go. And, and just bear this in mind. Probably a lot of that would wind up going to the unsecured creditors committee, the attorneys involved, like all of that would be gobbled up probably very quickly. And what would you be left with? So I think any kind of plan that could help get the creditors back something would be wonderful. And that's what I'm hoping for. And that's going to do it here for me today. I thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you next time. Please take care. Bye-bye.